To forecast future weather, you need to know what the weather is doing right now. To do this, Met Office observations gather weather readings from across the globe. Radar measures wind and rainfall, while weather boys record ocean conditions long before they reach the UK. Orbiting satellites collect and transmit data from sensors positioned around the planet. The data is then used by Met Office supercomputers to form models that shape the final weather forecast. While general conditions can be predicted for large areas, local weather may vary considerably. One side of a city may experience hot sun as the other shelters from rain. The Met Office aims to increase the detail of our forecasts by developing new and efficient sources of data. When navigating an aircraft, allowance must be made for the effect of wind on the aircraft. Wind creates a difference between the aircraft's path through the air compared to its path over the ground. By comparing the two, we can calculate wind speed and direction at each point along the flight path. Tapping into routine navigational broadcasts, we are able to gather wind data from most commercial aircraft flying above the UK every four seconds. That equates to several million wind readings every day. Most of us use satellite location, or GPS, in our everyday lives, whether that's locating friends with a smartphone or obtaining road directions with a sat-nav. The GPS system is highly accurate, but small errors can be caused by varying amounts of water vapour in the atmosphere. By measuring the apparent change in position of a receiver based on the ground, we can infer the amount of water vapour between the receiver and its corresponding GPS satellite. By using the existing GPS network data, the Met Office is able to produce maps showing the distribution of water vapour across the UK. Many weather enthusiasts have weather stations in their gardens. In fact, there are many more of these amateur weather stations than there are professional stations in the UK. Many modern amateur weather stations are able to broadcast their measurements over the internet 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Cloud-based services allow data to be collected and shared efficiently. The data can then be used to supplement information from professional networks, adding all important detail particularly in bad weather. By harnessing the power of digital communications and user-generated data, the Met Office can improve the detail and accuracy of future weather forecasts.